here backstage at Arthur Arbister and I'm going to show you how to get the look. So we're going to get the skin super hydrated by starting with Fix Plus. Yes! Are you feeling that hydration? <laughs> Moisturize the skin with Studio Moisture Cream. Massage it in so that the skin looks really incredible. We are going to get the lips nice and bright with our MAC Lip Conditioner. We're going to use the Lip Scrub Shift in Vanilla. Scoop some out and then you can take some and then you're just going to scrub. Perfect. Get in there good. And now I'm just wiping the scrub shift off and you see how nice and smooth the lips look. So now for the skin. This is Mineralize Time Check Lotion and we're going to massage this into the skin. It perfects, it corrects with redness and it creates an ultra smooth surface for me to put foundation on top of. Now it's time for face and body foundation. I like to swipe it on pretty generously at first and then apply thin layers of it to create a bit more coverage. Oh, we are. I'm feeling that. Let's move on. This is Studio Perfecting Stick. This is the easiest, fastest concealer in the world. So I'm just going to apply it straight on like a crayon and just blend it out. If you have an area that you really want to have good coverage, press your brush rather than blend heavily. And that's how you build really soft coverage. Now I'm going to be using the Studio Chromographic Pencil to take out any redness in the waterline. Chromographic pencils are a skin tone shade, so you just go right in and it makes everything look super clean. Brush up the brows and make them look nice and full with Brow Set and Clear. This just wakes the brows up and makes them look more full. So go in the opposite direction and then brush those bad boys up. Last but not least, we're going to cancel out any color that's on the surface of the eye because all of the attention is going to be going straight to those lips, so we don't want anything on the eyelid. Now we're going to marry this skin look by setting it with powder, and I'm using the Prep and Prime Transparent Finishing Powder Impressed. Gorgeous! I'm going to be curling the lashes with our MAC Full Lash Curler. We're going to curl the base of the lash, and then we're going to go down a little bit, and we're going to curl halfway down. There we are, nice and soft. We are going to use Extended Play Lash Mascara, and we're going to do a very thin coat. Squeeze the wand and get off some excess. So to help the mascara not get on the lid, I like to put down a shader brush, and then I can be more aggressive in applying the mascara. And I'm wiggling my brush back and forth to ensure the formula gets all the way to the base of the lashes. I love our 203 mascara brush. It applies the mascara very gently, so it's going to allow the lashes to look nice and feathery. There we are. Really fluffy ones on top and nice soft lashes on the bottom. So for the PS Resistance, we are going to be using Carnivorous Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color. Now I'm actually going to be using one of my favorite brushes for this. The 228 is an eyeshadow brush, but the shape of it is perfect for lips. Check that out. Just going to blot off our lip conditioner. So we're going to start by applying the color to the center of the lip and work our way to the edges. I'm going to have her smile slightly so that the lips get nice and taut and I can get a really clean edge that way. I'm going to go slightly over the edge of her natural lip shape just so that the top lip and the bottom lip are proportionate. We want a classic 1950s shape so nice curved cupid's bow is important to get that look. Sexy and vampy is the key here. And I'm going to apply two more layers because we want the color to be really vampy and really saturated. Are you seeing that richness happening? There it goes with that second coat. We're just slathering it on. That's what we're doing. And there you have it. Here's our modern vampy 1950s lip from Arthur Arbison.